Hello, this is the RPG Crawler, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Pool of Radiance. Now, between episodes, I went ahead and identified a few things and sold a few things. First of all, I sold that sword that kept smacking me around last time. And um, I went ahead and identified a shield that we picked up and found that it was a shield plus one. So now everybody that can use a shield, at least in my main party, not counting Durton, has a shield plus one. The only person really hurting on on the AC is over here, and I wonder, yeah. AC 6, she's got an AC of 4 because she's got one from Dexterity and one from that magic ring. Now, I also took a look, and our run son is due to get a level up in Thief, which I'm going to do, but I may not do right this instant. You know, I just realized something. I still got to turn that stuff in, right? No, I don't want to do all. I don't want to do all. Let's, let's go across and turn this stuff in real quick. Uh, this is not the place. No, no, no. Uh, this is the place. All right. The proclamations are placed on the wall. In your journal, you note proclamation number 154, which I think I've already been through on that one. Uh, let's go ahead and go down here to turn this in. Let's talk to the clerk. At your entry, the council clerk begins looking through a stack of papers. We've been informed you have eliminated some undead from the graveyard. Here's your reward. And that's 4,000 experience. That's going to be nice. And I will take uh, some of that, some of that, some of that, some of that. Now, I have a ton of gems and jewelry because I have not needed nearly as much as I was given. Now, the other thing that I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to see where that experience put me because that experience is pretty hefty. So for Grim, you've got 28,000. He's a fighter. He needs 35 for level 6. Um, a run son. Now, I know that he his thief is about ready to level up. That's 12,000. 12,000 gets you a level 5 thief. So a thief is ready to go. For a fighter, you need 18 to get level 5. So not quite. Uh, Charity, you've got 28. 28 for a cleric gives you 6th level cleric. So she is ready to level up as well. So let me go ahead and make a note on that so I don't forget. So she's ready to level up as well. And then Faith has 11,500 each for a cleric that gives you uh, 4, which she has for a magic user. Uh, pardon me, I had to sneeze right there. For a magic user, that gives you level 4, which uh, she does not have. So, uh, so faith is good for magic user. All right. Uh, then um, we will look at Arcadius. Arcadius has 33. For magic user, that puts you at level 5. He's got it. Uh, same with Ophelia. They need 40 to level to level 6. And actually, Ophelia is almost there. Arcadius has a little ways to go. Finally, let's take a look at Durton. Because I feel bad. Because he gets he keeps getting level drained. He's got 16 for a cleric that puts you at level 5. So Durton is ready for the clericking. And I will pay to have him upgraded. Because he, he can pay himself. He's got 1,000 gold. The council has uh, voted a special prize for ending the Graveyard Menace. Here is your reward. That's another 8,000 experience. Maybe I should have checked this after that. I will take uh, the gems and the jewelry. And that is it. Now, I have a ton of gems and jewelry because, uh, yeah, as I said, I haven't been needing to appraise them. And gold weighs so much. All right, let's see about the following commissions. A reward for books, maps, tomes. I know this. A large group of thieves operates out of the old Koval mansion. The council will pay to have them cleaned out. And that ties in with Durton's thing, so that's good. And then find the nomads and stop them from joining forces with our enemies. And I believe that the nomads are out, like outside of town. Not 100% on that, but that's what I think. So actually, let me take a look here real quick. He's still short. Um, wait a minute. Is he still short? No, 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 no. View. Uh, 38 for level 5. No, 38 gives you level 6. So now Grim can level up. 
as a fighter. Uh, that was my bad. A run sun has got 16. That's still that. Still short level 5. Uh, Charity's got 38. That's uh, still only level 6. I don't I don't know if you can get level 7 in this one. I'm, I'm, I'm completely baffled at that. Now, she's got 15, and I think uh, she was due to level up magic user. Uh, and her cleric... Uh, that that tips her over on cleric as well, I believe, now. Because she can get to uh, level 5 cleric. So Faith can do the cleric and magic user. And then... Um, yeah, Arcadius is 40-something, which gives you level 6 magic user. So Arcadius... Did that get everybody up? Uh, did it get uh, Ophelia up? Uh, that's 47, and she, uh, she qualifies. Now, the tables for leveling up only go up to like level 6 to 8, depending on class in the book. Uh, and Fighter goes up to level 8, even though it's got a much higher experience level, so I'm not sure about that. Uh, ordinarily, here's the thing about, about these uh, Magic User and some Clerics. Ordinarily, the next level on each one would give them level 4 spells, and I don't think level 4 spells are implemented in Pool of Radiance, but we shall see. So let's level everybody up. So let's check out here. Uh, east for Clerics. So let's go here. Yes, let's train. And we will train Charity to become a level 6 Cleric, yes. We will train Faith to become a level 5 Cleric, yes. And we will train Durton to become a level 5 Cleric, yes. And did he pay for himself? Yes, he did. All right. Uh, next is Magic Users, and we can train Faith to become a Magic, uh, the level 4 Magic User. And she will get... I will do Ray of Enfeeblement. Boom. All right. Uh, next is Arcadius. He'll become a level 6 magic user. And he's going to get uh, uh, level 3 spells. So, level 3 spells. I want to do, like, Haste or Lightning Bolt. Lightning Bolt is fun because it's more targeted. I'm going to take this one. Learn Lightning Bolt. Uh, did Faith learn hers? Let me take a look. Did Faith learn... Oh, oh, this only shows you what you have memorized. Ah! Alright, we will train Ophelia to become a level 6 magic user, and we will take Lightning Bolt on her as well. Even though Haste is good, and it's really good, um, I think I have it on one person. So let's... Get out of here. That's a bunch of levels up. Pretty much everybody leveled up from this. Yeah, we gotta get get out of this. Yeah. There is a party member you can pick up. I just never did it. So let's go ahead and here. Train, yes. Train him. Oh, you know what? Let's train a run son. Not enough experience. Uh oh, I thought a run son leveled up fighter. No, run a run son's only got level thief leveled up. So we will trade 200 plat to Grim. And we will train Grim to level 6 fighter. There we go. All right. Uh, next is Thief, which we've got one of. And we will, we will train a run son. And yes, there we go. So nice. We've got everybody... Everybody leveled up at least once. Oh, and this is a back door. Nice. I didn't know about that. It makes sense that the thieves have a back door out. All right, so we've got a lot of stuff to do. I do. I guess we could go to the north of town and pick up. I'm, I'm going to save the game after that, though. Um, uh, and pick up the uh, the so-called keep stuff. I think. Or, or, or not the so clock Yeah, is that the so keep? Yeah, I think it is. Uh, but first, let me rest. And charity will pay. And we will get our spells up. So we will memorize a third level cleric spell. 
Oh, wow, okay. Um, let's memorize... Animate dead. No, um, we'll memorize prayer. Uh, we will memorize... And she's got one magic user spell that can be memorized, which I'm going to memorize sleep. Because it's still going to be useful. Uh, for her second level spells, we got one cleric and one mem uh, one thing. We're going to memorize spiritual hammer once. Actually, no, we're not. We're going to memorize uh, stinking cloud. And then on our third level spell, we will memorize. We will do prayer. Although I think what I should do is I should start doing some hold person stuff. But we can worry about that next time. We'll memorize fireball. And we will, no, we will memorize another fireball. And he will memorize hold person for me. And he will memorize prayer. All right. All right, uh, let's go back to the north of town. Back to the docks again. All right. We will go to the bay. And charity will pay. All right. Go to the, the bay. There's the north and south entrances into the city and a small boat. Let's try the north entrance. I don't know where that puts us exactly. Looks like there's like this big walkway around the area. This goes, who, where does this go? Oh. Go on the north edge of the city, we'll enter the northern city gates, we'll enter the city gates. Okay, so that puts us on the map to the north of the city. There's a lot of empty space out here before the city proper. I'm going to circle all the way around it. Yeah, this is this is weird. All right, and this should enter the city in a place where we already I don't know, I don't think I've been here before. Maybe I need to clear this place out too. Tell you what, we'll try it. Uh, actually, let me take a look at my map in my journal, which I don't think I, I don't know whether or not I have access to yet. Um, so north of the city is Valevo Castle. And then we are either at Stottenau Gate. Maybe. And then south of here is Podal Plaza. So I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to explore this area. And this is the north part of that. Because what that will let me do... You spot a group of orcs. Um, yeah, we'll fight. Random encounter time. I do not have... I need more sleep spells. Uh, I'm going to delay. All right. So that orc tried to move and got immediately owned. All right, Durton's casting his spell. Make that orc go down. All right. Come on, we can handle this, can't we? All right, they attacked Durton. Uh, you know what? We're going to cast a fireball here. Try and take all those out. Ah. Uh. And we will put it up here. And we will see how many we can take out over here. Because if it takes out these, that's good. That one's down, that one's down. I want to find the edge of the fireball. Yeah, that's the kind of thing that I need. Alright. 
Yeah, these guys are surrendering now. Or running. That works too. Cost one fireball and cleared most of the orcs. Why are you praying? You cast a spell prayer as combat was ending. The hell? Yeah, we're done here. Alright, let's peek into here. I'm not finding anything in here. So we will go back out. Consider that one cleared. We'll just start on the north end and then go south. Oh, what's in here? I'm basically searching this. You're surprised by goblins. Oh no, I'm surprised. I think I'm in the wrong area completely, but that's okay, because we can make use of dirt and while we're out here. Ah, stop it. I hate being surprised. This is why surprise sucks in earlier editions. I mean, it's actually really nice, but at the same... Oh, you know what? You can execute a sweep attack when they try and run. That's awesome. All right. Uh, but yeah, one of the reasons why Surprise is so rough in earlier editions is just because of that whole... Uh, you miss so much of an entire round. All right. Cast and hold person. That was kind of random, but it works. Attacking charity from behind. At least it puts him in Grimm's kill zone. Slaying him with one helpless, one, one cruel blow. Oh, I'm loving that sweep. That's how you deal with uh, hordes of low level creatures in first edition. Yay, I got healed. Durton, trying to make himself useful. What the, what the hell is Arunson attacking with a bow for? Did, did Arunson go into AI mode? Wait, 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 wait. How do you turn the AI mode off? Yeah, I don't I don't need any of this. I'll take those two on the off chance that they're magical. Is a runson doing AI stuff? Did I mess up? I think I might have messed up. Alright, hold on a second. Alright, uh, let's take a look at this area first. I think I gotta look at this one. This is the last door that I need to search. You were surprised by orcs. I don't want to be surprised. Well, of course I don't want to be surprised. That goes without saying. But this is ridiculous. I want to be able to control my own people. Don't tell me Arunson is stuck in quick mode forever. They're coming around me to attack my, my uh, squishies in the back. That ain't good. All right. Well, there's Durton. See, he's attacking with... Oh, oh, I just realized something. I equipped... He equipped that bastard sword. Why is a run son in quick mode? Once you enter quick mode, is that it? Hold on a second. Give me a moment. Did I just mess up? 
because I don't have a I don't have uh, control over Aronson anymore. This is worrying. Let me look at the the guide real quick and see if there's a way to take him out of it. So one moment. Okay, this is going to be this is going to be uh, a bit of an issue here. So I set him to quick mode. Quick mode persists until you interrupt it, but you can only interrupt it when the 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 person in question is moving under computer control. So I have to hit spacebar in that millisecond while Arunson is under computer control. So I'm basically going to have to spam spacebar every time I move. And try and hope that it's the best. Okay. All right, Arcadius, your turn. All right, you got Nort going down. Come on. All right, you. All right, you got Nort going down. Come on, give me Grim. Give me Grim. Yes. Or Ar Arunson, my bad. Phew. Okay, so he's got a bastard sword up. Yes, I guess I'll continue it. Oh, that didn't sweep. That's BS. Come on, these guys need to to start running like any chi any any time now. All right, that one's gone down. All right, Grim. Let's clear a bunch of these out. That orc's going down. All right, Ophelia's having issues. Oh, run away already. Oh, these guys are slightly too high for me to sweep, I think. That's unfortunate. I know Durton got hit, but he still managed to attack. Come on, start surrendering already. There we go. That was terrible. All right. Well, now I know better. I'm going to take this silver, even though it's, like, really expensive. Or re really not exactly cost-efficient to gather. You see a group of four orcs whose shields bear a black hand on a red field. They cautiously look you over. The orcs ready their spears. Let's parlay. We will be abusive. In a deep, threatening voice, one of the orcs says... You moles better watch your step, or you'll, you shall feel the wrath of Bane. After saying this, he spits and leaves. Moles. Oh, okay. So we got some moles in the area. You're surprised by how... I don't want to be surprised. Stop surprising me. <laughs> ah. Now we're going to use some of these spells. So we can get sleep back up. Alright, Durton, you go ahead and berserk out there. I'm gonna cast another of these spells. I need I need to get my uh, strength spell on people. Boost my fighters up a bit. They're not running? Alright. I guess these hobgoblins have a fair degree of discipline. Or either that or a really high morale. Doesn't that mean the same thing, basically? Alright. Finally one surrendered. Hey, go ahead and heal yourself. Oh, I've got too much in, in money. Why am I picking up copper? 
No, I'm not going to pick any of that up. I don't need to search up. I need to encamp. I need to cast uh, the strength spell on people. Let me bump up Grim and a Runson. What did that bump them up to? 1876 and 1830. Oh, that'll work. That'll work. Alright, let's go through here, and this brings me to the outside. Oh, continuing along the north end. Alright, this is weird. You spot a group of goblins, the monsters stand ready. Parley? Abusive. Got to keep all you non-believers out of here, the monsters say as they begin to leave. So hit the road, you bums. The monsters turn and leave. Yeah. You see a group of four orcs whose shields... Okay. I will parlay. And abusive. Okay. So you can get through them. Okay. Parlay, abusive. Yeah. Because that's how they act to one another. Alright, this one just has these two rooms. Not bad. Alright. Um, parlay. Meek. Oh yeah, well I guess we were just going to have to... T oh, great. Ogres! Okay, that's alright. That's okay. That's okay, because we got... We got something for these guys. Alright. Let's so manually target. Alright. So, I think, like, right here might be my best bet. Boom, 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 and... Oh, I didn't get... I got more than half of them, I guess. Ah, uh, Faith's taking a beating. Let's take Magic Missile. Take that one out. Faith is down. No! Alright. I will bandage Faith up. Lesson learned, I guess. Heal up before uh, doing stuff. Especially when dealing with ogres. Yeah, teach me a lesson. Whatever, dudes. There you go. Alright, we'll not continue the battle. That was a decent amount of experience for a random encounter. I'll take the gold. And we will cast Cure Light on Faith. And maybe heal up a little bit. Yeah, I think I think that'd be our best bet here. Got to start shifting over to uh, to dealing with humanoids and crowd control form here. <sighs> so you know, a thought occurs to me: where the hell does Alright, parlay abusive, yes. Where the hell does this go? Go on the northern edge of the city, okay. This is where I came in. Except not quite. Wait, what? No, this is the castle, isn't it? This is the entirely wrong area. And this exits. So now I gotta go with this area. As you enter the building, you see a large group of foul orcs. They snarl and attack. So I'm gonna cast Fireball. 
I try and catch as many as possible. How big a, a group? I think right here would be our best bet. Boom. I want to get as close to hitting my people as I can without actually hitting my people. I took out a big chunk of them. All right, come on. They almost they almost done. I think they are. Uh. A lot of orcs. So we're basically going to go ahead and clear. Let's see what we got here. Got silver. We got... That's it. You're in a room that is filled with the dead bodies of the orcs' previous victims. Alright, so I'm going to save the game here. We're going to go ahead and search this room. You see a group of four orcs, etc. We will parlay an abusive. Yeah, okay. Alright, and then we will continue exploring this area in the next episode. For now, this has been the RPG with my Let's Play of Pool of Radiance. If you like what you've seen, remember to leave a like, comment if you've got any feedback, and subscribe for more RPG content. Until next time. Take care and goodbye.